the second 10% and the third 10% come to plus 0.7 and the bottom 10% come to minus 0.7 wow. my dears it means the bottom 450 million indians own nothing take the inequality issue okay. there is even newer data than in the in the last 6 months on the kind of inequality we are seeing the, there is a multinational bank called Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse. It's a Swiss. S U I double S E. Every year they bring out, you will find this data in the introduction, my new introduction to my old book. Every year, Credit Suisse brings out a world wealth data book. It's very important that you realize they are not concerned with poverty, they're concerned with wealth. Mm. But looking at the wealth figures they've given, you see something astonishing. The top 1% of the Indian population now own 58.4% of total wealth in the country. Top 1%. Total wealth meaning total household wealth. We are not including natural resources and stuff like that. Hmm. Do you know what is the figure for United States? 42.1%. USA, which is at its most unequal in history since the Great Depression, it is 42.1%, the control of the top 1%. India's is 58.4%. The second thing that they've given you in these figures, they've given you decile-wise wealth. That is, bottom 10%, next 10%, next 10%, up to the top 10%. The bottom 10% share of wealth in India is minus 0.7. Wow. The, the share of wealth of the bottom 10% has turned negative and it has turned negative in 12 months. Now, a a progressive writer investigating the human condition must ask what is the meaning of this word negative wealth that economists use? Mm. What is the meaning of this term? It means actually that though it, it means that there are tens of millions of people in your country whose assets are far fewer than their liabilities and they are sinking deeper and deeper into debt. Indebtedness, do you know that in 2015, that bottom 10% share of wealth was 0.1%. In 2016, it's minus 0.7%. That is a gigantic fall. That means their assets have turned to liabilities. Whatever they had is lost. There are three lessons to be drawn from this. One, the rate at which inequality is growing is faster than anywhere else. Second, the bottom 10% is minus 0 0.7. The next 10% is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2. The next 10% is plus 0 0.3. Sorry, I'm so sorry. The next 10% is plus 0 0.5. So, the second 10% and the third 10% come to plus 0 0.7 and the bottom 10% come to minus 0 0.7. My dears, it means the bottom 450 million Indians own nothing. Their share of wealth is, e is equal to 0. My plus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.7. Effectively, the bottom 30% has nothing. Okay. This is how you look at data. Now, it all, now, a young economist, Srujana Bodapatti, working in ThoughtWorks in Gurgaon, on taking something that I had been doing for years with Fortune, with the Forbes billionaires. There is a list of billionaires. Forbes billionaires. The great news is that this March, Forbes, Indian billionaires in Forbes, for the first time, is 101. We crossed the 100 mark. 
we are now number four in the world in dollar billionaires and we are 131 in the United Nations Human Development Index. 131. Yeah. 2016 Human Development Index, 131. Now, now another thing you can say, see what some people try to say is, oh the share, you know what was the share of our, uh, in, in 2014 the share of the top 1% was 49%. In 2016, it's 58.4%. They've added 9% in 24 months. Mm. It works out to it works out to over a hundred billion dollars of I mean, wow. it, it works out to countless billions of dollars. Now, of course, the, your neoliberal economist will tell you, your capitalist journalist will tell you that Indian economy has grown. Indian economy has grown, the share of everybody has grown, it's not. The bottom 10% has seen an absolute fall in wealth. It means that wealth has gone from bottom to top. Mm. It's not that the cake is bigger, everybody is getting more. It means that you have directly taken wealth from the bottom 30%. And that alone can account for the expansion of the top 1%. So that with this is the level of inequality that we are looking at. Again, investigated through the human condition, investigated through the agrarian crisis, mm. 